Welcome back, book buddies. Today we are going to read a book from the incredible Peppa Pig collection. Today's book is called Magic Mirrors. Let's go. Magic Mirrors. There is a new mirror in Peppa and George's bathroom. George thinks there's another little pig in the room. It's a mirror, George, says Mommy Pig. You can see yourself in them because they are so shiny. This gives Peppa an idea. Come on, George, she says. Let's go and look for other shiny things. Peppa and George find Daddy Pig downstairs. We're looking for shiny things to see ourselves in, says Peppa. Why don't you look in these spoons, suggests Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig gives Peppa and George a spoon each. They can see their faces in the spoons. My face looks funny, says Peppa. Now turn the spoon around, says Daddy Pig. I'm upside down, cries Peppa. How does that work, Daddy? It's simple, says Daddy Pig. Concave surfaces reflect light waves inversely to their origin. Peppa looks confused. Is it magic? asks Peppa. Yes, replies Daddy Pig. Peppa and George search for more shiny things. They meet Susie's sheep outside. Look, Susie, says Peppa, showing Susie her spoon. I can make you turn upside down. Wow, how does it work? asks Susie. Magic, replies Peppa. Peppa and Susie and George look for more magic things in the garden. They find a big muddy puddle. I can see the sky, says Susie. Just then, Pedro Pony and Danny Dog arrive. Did you drop something in the puddle? asks Pedro. No, we're looking at our reflections. Just like a mirror, says Peppa. I know where there are some really funny mirrors, says Danny. The children head to the fair. Roll up, roll up, cries Miss Rabbit. Come and see my wobbly mirrors. Everyone goes inside Miss Rabbit's tent. Peppa and Susie look at their reflections in a funny shaped mirror. What happened to my body? asks Peppa, giggling at her wobbly reflection. Danny is looking at a different mirror. His face and body looks very wide in this one. I've gone all squishy, says Danny. George has found a mirror that makes him look huge. Grrr, says George. He thinks he's as big as a dinosaur. Pedro's mirror is the strangest of all. Look at my neck, says Pedro. It's as long as Gerald Giraffe's. Why do we look different in each mirror, Daddy? asks Peppa. It's very simple, says Daddy Pig. Illusions of optical differentials by convex. Everyone looks a bit confused. So it's magic, says Susie. Daddy Pig smiles. Yes, it's magic, he replies. Outside the tent, Mummy Rabbit has brought her twins, Rosie and Robbie, to see their auntie, Miss Rabbit. Hello, sister, says Mummy Rabbit. How are you? I'm very good, sister, replies Miss Rabbit. Daddy Pig and all the children come out of the tent. It was amazing in there, says da Daddy Pig. And the mirrors out here are amazing too. I can see two of you. It must be magic. Silly Daddy, says Peppa. It's Miss Rabbit and Mummy Rabbit. We don't need a mirror, says Miss Rabbit, because we look so alike. Well, we are sisters, says Miss Rabbit and Mummy Rabbit together. Ho, ho, he he. And there's Pedro in his mirror. The end. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Do come back so we can read more books together. Please like and subscribe. Bye.